Pretty good. I mean, not that tough. It's convenient. It's close. It's good what? to be back in the southeast. Yeah, it is. Got that feeling again. That home feeling. I feel like the Falcons are a team that is close playoff wise. So it's sort of getting to that next level. Say it again. I feel like it, this team is one that's close to getting up playoff wise to the next level. I mean, yeah. Yeah, they, they've been there. So it's like a, a familiar position. You know, but no NFL team is the same, you know, the following season. So just, you know, you got to fill the pieces that you think can take you to that next level. I think a lot of versatility. I've played a lot of positions. I played safety, a nickel corner, a kickoff returner, a punt returner, I played a punt team. So Dana done it all. So a lot. Any, any advice you offer to some Alabama guys going to the NFL now? Like what you what what, what what is a surprise when you get to the league after being in Alabama? I mean, it's no big surprise. Uh, you know, only surprise is if you stop working as hard as you, you work, you know, to get to uh, that point. Uh, but it, it's no surprise, you know, uh, playing at Bama, you know, uh, you go through the roughest and not in a, a bad way, but as far as attention to detail and doing the small things right in order to be successful. So if you just continue to do that, you know, it won't be any surprises at all. Now that you have been in the league a few years, what kind of things can you look back on at Alabama and, and, and say that, you know, that helped you prepare for the NFL or that that was pretty a little bit the same or something like that? This is my football knowledge for the most part. You know, I was uh, ahead of the game when I was coming out of uh, college because of the defense that I played in. And, you know, to this day, I'm still, it's all kind of second nature to me. So that was a huge benefit, you know, that I got from it. So, you know, looking back, and, you know, I look back a lot when I, we're in the playbook and some of the, uh, ter the defensive terminologies revert back to, you know, being at Bama. And I'm like, I learned this like, you know, five years ago, five, six years ago. Yeah. How do those defensive playbooks compare just like in terms of the complexities and stuff? Is it? It's, it's not as complex as it was at Bama. It's just not, you know, you got a, a lot of great athletes, uh, a team full of great athletes that you want to just let them do what they do best. So you don't want to think too much. And uh, just the basic defenses, you know, they have the capability to turn into big plays. Uh, just man coverage, you know, you got guys you can uh, make big plays and you know, take an interception back for a touchdown. So it's not as co uh, complex, but uh, sometimes it can be. Like on third down, when you want to do a lot of different things, it can, it can get a little tedious uh, as far as, you know, small details and adjustments and things like that. Are you going to have more opportunity to turn punts here? Uh, I don't, early on, I don't think so. We signed Devin Harrison as well, so mm -hmm. he's a guy that I can learn from, you know, pick up a lot of knowledge from. Have you watched Chaha at all during his time at Alabama? Just the televised games, you mm -hmm. know, the only opportunities, and he's exciting to watch. Yeah. What's, uh, what's your advice to a young defensive back like that specifically who's, who's going from Alabama to the NFL? Uh, just do the same thing they, they've done you know, to get to that level and, you know, uh, scheme schematically, they're going to be ahead of the game as far as knowing what to do in, in dang near any defense. Uh, but, you know, don't get too complacent, you know, and just you know, take the knowledge that they have and just you know, keep applying it.